Ketsi, our director, Fred, Fred uh, Pot of. Uh, we have uh, some good newspapers in the studio. We have a finder, a uh, lawyer saves journalist who was wrongfully jailed three years. And Felix is his name, and Felix Xavier Susu, a human rights and public interest lawyer. Um, that's Francis Xavier Susu. Uh, he's a human rights and public interest lawyer. Uh, he's the, also the gentleman, the lawyer who got uh, that uh, gentleman who was incarcerated for 14 years. Yeah, freed. Uh, yes, freed. Yeah. I don't know whether he's been paid that money. He's as a well. human rights lawyer. Yes, I mean, yes. this is what he, he does. Yes. Best. If you see the human rights lawyers, you see them. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, ADB targets 200 million Ghana cities from IPO. Uh, Dan Adams calls for capacity building of local industries. We also have um, China pledges more aid to Ghana. And you have uh, a picture there of Ming Sang Bao Hong, who is a Chinese ambassador to Ghana. And you can see a beautiful Ming Sang Bao Hong, the Chinese ambassador to Ghana. We also have the Economy Times. Front page, government hopeful of CD rebound as it expects uh, 4 billion US dollars. Oh, really? New money. And Ghana's uh, fourth euro bond approved by IMF and World Bank. IMF heals Ghana's aid program. Uh, we also have um, Kwame Jumwajima on the back page. No, he's not. Uh, IMF actually pushes government to eliminate tax uh, exemptions. And we have Tory Viral government releases $22 million for maintenance. Uh, I think that would be woefully inadequate. Government, please. <laughs> you know that it would be inadequate. A new statesman, Mahama spends millions of um, budgeted cash at Talency. We also have uh, Justice Apple challenge over NDC recycled propaganda against the Kufuado. Uh, we have other stories on the back, back, uh, front page as well. Uh, the Telegraph. Hanatete Rekubrobe in trouble. Police officer, two others arrested in raid on Drax Den. Back page. A similar wife of Ghanaian <laughs> players. Apparently, my Sule uh, Tariq cut his uh, contract short because amicably they decided to relieve each other of any responsibilities. And Michael Issyan there is now playing for Panathinaikos, the Greek. Uh, He's playing for what? Panathinaikos. Where's that? Oh, is it Panathinaikos or Olympiakos? Where are they? In, in Greece. Still in Greece. It, pa pa in Michael. Greece, yes, yes. Present Greece, present Greece. Amazing. The cash trap, uh, cash trap, Greece. Um, okay. Uh, um, the last two, three days, Kwame Jumajima went to Greece to visit my Kalesian. That's why he's now in the studio. So you see him very soon. Uh, Swag has lost his core values. Nana Ohenebach, Charles is saying, and then we have um, other uh, stories as well. This one and this one. So. Um, All right. Those are the stories we Let have. me go to myjoyonline.com. Uh, we've got some of the newspapers captured there. I'll continue with the BNFT, the Business and Financial Times now. Uh, CD records biggest gain in 2015. The local currency last week recorded its biggest gain against the U.S. dollar this year when it closed trading on Friday, gaining 7.8% in value over the green pack. What does it all mean, really, when uh, it's almost five to a dollar? Uh, rooftop panels to lead solar drive. That's another headline there in the Business and Financial Times. The General Telegraph, you know already. Daily Guide newspaper. Nana goes to court over Apau's voodoo report. So the presidential candidate of the NPP, Nana Dodankwe Kofuado, has given indications that he will challenge the adverse findings purportedly made against him by the Judgment Debt Commission headed by newly appointed Supreme Court Judge Justice Yao Apo. That's captured in the Daily Guide newspaper. NPP didn't come for Juju. Tendana is saying the traditional landlord of Bari in the Talency constituency of the Upper East Region uh, has cleared the air over a publication that was carried in pro-NDC papers on Thursday with the pictures of some bare-chested NPP delegation who paid a courtesy call on him at his palace on July 1, 2015. The Daily Guide is reporting. St. John's Grammar sued over concrete factory. A group of residents near St. John's Grammar Senior High School at New Ache Mota here in Accra, numbering about 48, have sued the board of directors of the school for allegedly releasing part of the school's land to a private developer. All right, let's check out what the graphic is reporting. Decision time at Talency tomorrow. President John Mahama has started or stated that the ruling NDC is expecting some 20,000 votes from the electorate during the Talency parliamentary by-election tomorrow, Tuesday. ECG bust three 
Entertainment Sports. The Accra West region of the ECG has uncovered the illegal connection of power at three entertainment joints at Kole Wokon here in Accra. Shraj Advocates Democracy Fund. Uh, so Shraj is advoca advocating a democracy fund similar to what has uh, what as proposed by the Constitution Review Commission for Independent Constitutional Bodies. If you're interested in reading a lot more of these headlines that you've heard, please get to the newsstands and grab the newspapers and read some more. But when you go to myjoyonline.com, we've also got a lot more stories uh, that you can follow up. But here's something that you can check out on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash joy news on TV. Usually you will not uh, see the people behind uh, the cameras, you know, and all the equipment that we use. But we've got great pictures of the people we're working with this morning on our Facebook page. Please log on to facebook.com forward slash joy news on TV and check us out. Okay, it's exactly 43 minutes up to six. Kwame Jomo Ajimai, thankfully, he's well and alive. He's got a lot more details in sports. But what I'm excited about today uh, in tennis is the Williams sisters. They are playing, uh, and they're going to be playing against each other today in Wimbledon. It's not uh, more like a very exciting news because what it means is that one of them will definitely go out. So Serena and Venus are playing today. Both have won the Wimbledon title five times, uh, except that Serena has got 20 Grand Slam titles and Venus has got seven. We'll see who comes out tops today. More of such stories with Kwame Chuma at right here on the AM Show. Please stay with us.